LA Police Gear Urban Recon Pant. I've reviewed several pairs of LA Police Gear pants in the past, and one of the things that always surprises and amazes me with them is the value to quality ratio that you get with their stuff, because these pants are $23, and it is a heck of a deal for what you get for your $23. LA Police Gear sent me a couple pairs to check out. They sent me this green pair. They also sent me one in the Sierra. There are a couple other color options, black, coyote, green, Sierra, khaki, charcoal, and slate brown. And like I said, it's a heck of a deal of what you get for your $23. They're made of a nine and a half ounce cotton canvas material. And one of the things that I like about that is that most of my other tactical pants are made of a ripstop poly cotton blend. And if anyone takes the time to kind of look at them, they look a little bit more tactical because they have that ripstop cotton look to them. Whereas these are just a plain straight cotton canvas. And this duck canvas, if you're not familiar with it, is a super tough cotton blend. It's gonna take a lot of wear and the cotton is gonna keep you a little kind of cool, they say, and I've worn it a bunch of times now and it is surprisingly comfortable. I've mostly strayed away from getting 100% cotton pants because I don't like the shrinkage and the, the uh, color fading, that sort of thing, but these are really comfortable. And like I said, I've worn them a bunch of times, washed them a bunch of times, so I've got some experience with them. The sizing on these pants, LA Police Care pants always seem to run a little bit small. Usually in almost all pants that I buy, I wear a 32, except for Vertex pants where I wear a 33, and these pants are 34s. I wear, I get 34s in all of my LA Police Care pants, so make sure you buy them bigger than your normal size so you get the right size. As far as shrinkage goes, they are 100% cotton, so they are going to shrink some. And just to show you, I have the green pairs that I've worn a bunch of times, washed a bunch of times, and the Sierra pair that I have not worn, they still have the tags on them, as you can see. So I'm gonna line up the waists here, and let me show you how they have been. They have shrank about two inches or so, maybe three, but I think it's really about two when I measure it down to the, uh, the inches with the, uh, the inseam. But, but they shrink a decent amount, so be sure to uh, buy them a little bit long if you're on the fence. As far as the inseam goes, just to measure that, and I'll put it on a little bit and show you how they fit. I wear a 30 in all of my all my pants, so starting at the waist or at the crotch here, all the way down. They've shrunken down to a 28. The Sierras, if I put it up in the crotch here, they are measuring at about 29. So they, shr they will shrink about an inch, but I think the out seam, just to measure that, those of you that know your measurements, on the green here, Starts up here and that is about 37 and three quarters. And on the slate, I'm getting it at 41 and a half. So if you have some other pants you can compare this to, that way you can know roughly what type of size you should order with these, but they will shrink. The waist, I didn't really notice shrinking. The waist seemed to fit fine. The 34, as in all their other pants, still fits fine for me, but the length will definitely shrink, so be aware of that when you're ordering. Have a look at the design of them now. Up on the waist here, they have an elastic waist on both sides, and that waist will expand, if we line it up at three and a half inches, it will expand an inch and a half on either side. So the waist will expand three inches if you need. So if you carry inside the waistband, you want to tuck it in, this will give you a little bit of expansion room for that or just for tucking shirts and or if you're gonna gain a little bit of weight after lunch. There are six belt loops, two on the front, four on the back, and they will hold a two inch belt, no problem. In the front here, there is a brass button and then a brass YKK zipper. And the zipper is locking, means that, meaning that if the zipper pull is down, it's locked. The zipper pull is up, it's locked, but if the zipper pull is 90 degrees, it comes undone, which is a nice feature of the zipper in a very affordable pant. The other nice thing I like about this zipper is that the zipper pull is nice and big because one of the problems I have, especially with my 5'11 pants, is they have this little itty bitty zipper pull down here and it always seems to get stuck and then you have to go fishing for it down here. So I like the fact that these have a bigger zipper pull and the locking is a nice feature as well. On the inside, there is the label here, kind of goes over some of the features of the pant. They are made in China, if you're concerned about that. And then the label up here with the size, 
3430 style number. Pocket wise, up on the front here, there is one, what I will term a cell phone pocket. My Droid Turbo 2 fits right down in there, no problems. And size wise for that pocket, it measures in at six and six and a quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. So good amount of space for your cell phone there. And then the side pockets are notched so that if you want to carry your knife in them, there's still gonna be plenty of room to get your hand around it. I usually carry a knife and a pen on one side and a flashlight on the other side. And I like the fact that they still have that little notching there. They could be reinforced, but again, these are $23 pants, so you can't have everything. Uh, but I, the fact that they're not reinforced means that this is a little bit thinner than some of the pants that have the reinforcement. So if you have something that's got a narrow pocket clip, this will slide over them easier. The crotch is gusseted for extra ease of movement. The knees are articulated. There's some darting on the knees there for a little extra ease of movement and they are reinforced. And then the bottom is just a plain bottom, no blousing strap holes or anything like that, just a straight bottom. On the sides, there is a cargo pocket. This pocket measures about six inches by six inches. It's square, two Velcro. It does blouse out and inside is just one six by six pocket. There's no dividers or anything else in there. LA Police Gear logo here. This pocket is on both sides. Same LA Police Gear logo just on the right side there. On the back, there are two patch pockets, one on either side. These measure six, about six inches in depth by five inches across. No dividers or anything else inside those, just two regular normal looking pockets. Again, kind of lends to the less conspicuous look of these pants. So I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and throw them on and have a look. Here's the pants on. You can see they have a nice medium fit to them. Not too tight, not too loose. They look a lot like normal pants, especially with this cotton canvas fabric. They're flat front. The pockets a light over here, easy to get into, easy to get the light out. <clears throat> Cell phone pocket, easy to get into. Even on the other side, I've got a knife and a pen. Can still get my hand in there without too much difficulty. The back pockets are just regular back pockets and they look pretty normal. Lengthwise, you can see they are maybe just slightly short, but not offensively so. So take that into note when you're buying them. If you're on the cusp for size, buy them a little bit long, shrink them, and then hem them if need be. But otherwise, they are great pants. $23, really hard to beat the deal. Check them out from LA Police Gear, the Urban Recon Pant.